Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of me talking about stuff and things, I am going to be going over some ideas I have for future Last One Standing competitions. Now, before I continue, link below are some surveys. There's the Lottergato C. Pilatus Excel survey and the Last One Standing survey. Now, the survivalists on the Last One Standing survey are those who have not been confirmed for seasons one, two, or three, have attempted at least two challenges, or if they've only attempted one challenge, they have shared it to their social media and I added their names. There's also a spot where you can add in survivalist's name and if they've attempted at least two challenges, then I will, of course, add them to the survey. So please check those out. I would really appreciate it. Now onto the video. I have some ideas for future last one standing challenges, whether it's a vote by audience or a vote by the other survivalists or just interesting challenges that they could do because I really think that I have great ideas and of course I wanted to share them with everyone in the hopes that maybe one day a producer will see it and add it on or if it is added I could say I thought of that too. I am in the same mind as producers. Anyway, the first idea that I had was to give a monetary prize to the fan favorite of the season like they do in Top Chef just to help, you know, add some more monetary prizes for the survivalists because they're working really hard. They're giving up their time and energy to entertain us and potentially win. And even if they don't, they should be rewarded for that. So I think a fan favorite should be voted and they should get money. Plus it means more money to go around to be given to other people other than the prize money. Next up is a gauntlet challenge. Now, the gauntlet challenge I'm taking inspiration from is from a show called Face Off, which is a makeup competition series that aired on Sci-Fi. And basically what they had to do was a series of challenges and they would be placed from first to ninth each round and the individual who averaged ninth place by the end of the gauntlet would be eliminated. So it'd be interesting to have a gauntlet challenge dealing with survival where the average last placer will be sent home. Next up is a reward challenge that could have a monetary prize or a useful tool. And when I say monetary prize or useful tool, I mean the survivalist is given the choice, hey, you can either take money or you can get this useful tool and be that much closer to being the last one standing because Money talks, and people like money. Next up is buy your way out of elimination card, where if the survivalists get enough money through reward challenges, they could essentially save themselves from being eliminated. So they get to save themselves for that week, but they have to give them their money. So it's a lot of dilemmas. Next up is some more audience participation like the surveys that I have linked below, but it's more of an official survey where audience members can have a list of survivalists who are not confirmed for last one standing and they can vote for them. And after a certain amount of time, the voting closes and then the first placer goes on to compete on the challenge. Maybe they can give results at certain points so we can see who's being voted for, but maybe they can keep it secret. Next up is a tournament bracket where it's instead of choosing a winner, it's basically if you win, you don't get eliminated where everyone can be paired up and each pair does a specific challenge and the winner is saved from elimination while the losers continue up the tournament bracket until there are two or three individuals left and the loser goes home. Next up is the survivalists voting for a congeniality of the season where this could be labeled the Fernando Prize where if you just really liked another survivalist or there was a survivalist that was very helpful or very kind or you really liked, you can vote for them and they could win a monetary prize just so their efforts can be rewarded with money because who doesn't want an extra bit of money after completing a crazy challenge or competing on a crazy challenge? I mean, come on. Next up is similar to what I said before, but there could be reward challenges for immunity, money, or a helpful tool. And 
there can be certain incentives with the money or the tool where if they choose the tool, it can't be stolen or traded so they can hang on to it for the rest of the challenge. Maybe the money is a little bit more than on previous reward challenges, or there could be immunity from the next elimination challenge. All are really good for present or future challenges, and so it could just create drama and tension. Next up is an idea that I thought of that could be stamped by Naked Afraid, like no one else does something like this and could be specifically Naked Afraid's own, where it's just a plant or animal identification challenge where each survivalist has to answer questions and based on the answer to the question, they take a certain path, but if it's the wrong path, they have to go back and incur a time penalty. The person who makes it through the fastest wins. So it could be great to see, you know, after they're doing this challenge for a long period of time, them having to kind of think and try to keep their mental fortitude to be able to answer these questions and make it through the challenge. And if they try to just kind of speed run through it, then the penalty could cause them to lose. So it's all a matter of strategy. Next up is something that I find very interesting is that if there is a double elimination or a self-tap within the first week, then a alternate survivalist can be brought into the competition. Where if you go from 14 to 12, you add someone in, it's 13. So it could add an interesting dynamic. Or if there's a self-tap within the first week, then someone is added in. And the interesting thing is if the survivalists know that this is happening. So you might be like, oh, I really want to leave. I really want to leave. But if they leave, then it just makes it difficult for everyone else kind of thing. So the self tap out person might be like, oh, well, okay, bye. Or there could be some kind of punishment. It would be interesting to see someone self tap and kind of be like, okay, bye. I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with this anymore. You get to deal with a new person. And so that would I think caused some drama, but we shall see. Now, the last idea I had is having kind of a unique exit sequence because there are shows like America's Next Top Model and after a contestant is eliminated, there's like a fade out sequence with music with Survivor. Jeff does the tribe of spoken and sniffs out their flame. There's, I think on Big Brother, they have the pictures of everyone and the person who is eliminated. Their picture goes from color to black and white. And there's also a show called The Glee Project where every time someone is eliminated, they sing and then, you know, they walk away from the microphone dramatically into the darkness. And then on Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay asks for the contestant's chef jacket once he's eliminated them and then he goes and puts it on a hook and then the contestant's picture is burned. So I think that it'd be cool if Last One Standing had a unique exit sequence other than the contestant giving their final interview as they drive away in a car. And I was thinking that on the Last One Standing Season 2 trailer, we saw a few of the survivalists lifting their arms up while in an elevated spot looking out into the distance and they throw their arms up and maybe if they did something like that, like a sweeping shot, it could be very dramatic. Or I think it would be very interesting because the thing with Naked and Afraid when someone goes home early, they are given a robe. So what if the survivalists have embroidered robes where I could just have all the robes rolled up and kind of next to each other where you could see their name and when someone is eliminated their robe is grabbed or something like that and then you could just see it lingers on the remaining survivalist names so you know who's still there and who went home and stuff and then that could be the ending part and then you could get the trailer for the next episode or there could be the picture with the PSRs and when the person is eliminated their picture goes from color to black and white just something like that just to make it unique and make the sequence their own and make it interesting for last one standing I know that I've seen other individuals with ideas where they just have the survivalists of last one standing just be given a few items and then just survive as long as they can but I think that's a little bit too close to alone and you don't want to get your ideas from alone you want to stand out and I know I've said oh you could do this from this reality show but these are some ideas that Last One Standing can make their own or they could just 
have it just as an excuse to give people more money because I think these survivalists deserve more money or they can choose a different reward. So you never know. But those are some ideas slash additions that I have. Thank you so much for watching and or listening. Please like, comment nice things, and subscribe, and click the next video if it's mine. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day slash night. Thank you. Bye-bye.